Hi, welcome to another episode of Video Thing. It's part two of Collision well, Software Special. Probably part two, maybe part three. Who knows where we're going to cut this? Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the Collision Software Special. <laughs> What's Hydro Speed, Dan? So this it's is clearly by game. Dr. Nick, because it's right there on screen at all times. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Little, that, little text. <laughs> that's me. So yeah, this was an evolution of the bonus rally idea that you may have seen in the other one. I wanted to make a racing game with the sliding mechanics, but have the sliding mechanics make slightly more sense. <laughs> so I put it on water, right, like hovercraft. And then the idea was to have um, user make a pool, like a level editor. It was another late Games Factory implementation where we were like, oh, we can use any files to yeah. make you save a level. Exactly. So the any file was just a list of coordinates. Um, coordinates and like directions for a series of gates. And then you would make your level out of just gates. And that was it. So give it a go. Uh, uh, so do I have I to? I didn't know there was a two-player mode. I forgot about that. So you got you got a ton of tracks already here. <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of tracks. So reasonable. <laughs> reasonable. Let's see. Oh, you have to create oh, a new race. Right? See if this works. Right. <laughs> oh, you created, <laughs> created, created, created a blank. Like great. So I can delete the blank. Nice. Okay, so you're Rog on the reasonable level, and then pick your music. <laughs> well, I actually have to pick music this time. Yeah. I don't have a choice. It doesn't randomise it. Obviously, I did carry that forward from Global Speed Racer. Egypt. Okay. Reasonable Egypt. Let's go. Right. You build can see it build the level, and then it... And then... I don't... Oh, the puzzle oh, effect's not that great. Right. They run out. Oh. Well, you know, oh, I got it. it. So, this is quite... Uh, it's a very long and thin hovercraft. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, so the arrows sort of point supposed to you're supposed to make the levels of the arrows point vaguely where you're gonna need to go next. Yes. No. But <laughs> it's quite hard to actually predict. Predict. Oh dear. There's no problem. There's no guess laps. So you can get the best points up to all. Yeah. And I think this would tell you if you had a new lap record. To do lap record. Yep. Oh, you're going a bit fast this time. So you can make sort of weird chicanes by putting the gates, like, aligned next to each other. Yeah. Which was kind of weird. But you do kind of Drive. stop dead when you hit that yeah. shit. Well, you know. But the gates not wide, though. No, I don't, I don't know. Oi. But it does have the slidey. Oh, that's a new high score. Uh, <laughs> right, there you go. Uh, that's how, that. how do I get out? Well, I'll show the level editor okay. just, just quickly. Maybe. I think you just... Move around and Hold then... Hold Wait, wait, what are these... How do you... What are these squares? Oh, I might scroll I'm gonna hold They might be scroll bars. Rotate with A and D, place with W. Ah. And it's zoomed out in this mode. Yeah. I'm just gonna dance. And you've got little... Scroll cursors, I guess. Yeah. You've got a level like this. I wanna have, so how dense can I get? I think you, you can want. get pretty dense. It doesn't let me overlap. Does it not? No. Oh, interesting. Let's build an entire track like this. <laughs> You're gonna make a circle. Oh, I'll make it very... Oh, yeah. Obvious where, <laughs> where, where you're going. Lots of gates. Make oh, yeah, make it. That was the chicane style. Let's make them weird like that. It's actually quite hard to get through. <laughs> it's making it possible. <laughs> well, that, that's there now. <laughs> yeah, can you not undo it? I, I guess know. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can make it round this thing. No, what are you doing? No, you gotta make it line up, man. <laughs> you know, you gotta get back to the start, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He's gonna make it. Sort of. Let's get a bit wibbly here. 47 gates, jeez. It's <laughs> <laughs> the confusing section. <laughs> the whole thing's the confusing section. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I like how the numbers on the, oh, yeah, number they on the gate it. is getting overwritten by the objects. Oh, that's bad. 
Right. How do you end it? The space bar, I think. Enter. Oh, they... Save so, so the help. That's G. Press enter to save track. Enter the track name. A big mess. <laughs> Raj. Raj, Raj. Okay. Naturally. <laughs> save it! Okay. That was pretty <laughs> so, really dramatic. Let's just say that obviously that saving sequence was completely unnecessary. Probably. Because it absolutely was not. Taking counting, that. counting down gates or saving any data for that long. Well, I don't know. Well, you might put it on a timer. Yeah, I'd probably put it artificially slow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, there you go, Roger Bodge. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Too many items! Too many gates! Or something. Oh, something's gone wrong. Oh, oh no! I didn't know that could happen. None of the arrows are there. <laughs> oh, shit, I made really long tracks and I didn't come across <laughs> one arrow. <laughs> Okay, so well, it's, well, it sort of works. Maybe the indie uh, file got buggered up somehow. Woo. Okay, there you go. The break the game. That is hydro. <laughs> speed. That was hydro speed. That'll try again. Though. Hi everybody. Okay. <laughs> Another More game by me. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So this, I remember this game not being quite boring. <laughs> so this is another, the first of our pack theme games here, which doesn't start with the name with the letter P. Therefore, we haven't got to them yet. Yeah. <laughs> but they started with Best Breed, which yum. we'll show you, and then yum, yum, yum. yeah, put it up to like yum, I don't know, yum, something. Yum, yeah, that'll do. Oh, fuck yum. it. Whatever. Let's go. Yum, yum. <laughs> the go sound. So what do you have to do? All oh, right. Oh, that's the music loading. So you have to shoot them. Oh, Simple as that. Oh, we put it high, quite high speed. Yeah, this is actually yeah, quite. Maybe we this slide is actually out. way harder than I remember. So you had to stop them, obviously eating the little friendly smiley, smiley faces. <laughs> and if you shot four in a row of the same colour, every it would be a smart uh, bomb. So that was the trick. Uh, oh, and you. Blast. Okay, that's blast. too hard. You might have to restart because uh, you're gonna die. Okay. You got the level of fifteen. Okay. Why well, starting at level fifteen? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> 15. Let's see if you can start from zero and see see how we go. Down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> of course, why not? Naturally. Although I think at the time I had a big, I was a big fan of this particular colour screen of lot, a uh, colour scheme of lots of <laughs> shades of purple. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had that in a few places. Or well, Dynamic Two was going to be entirely this, wasn't it? Not quite enough reds to score them. At least get a combo. Uh, no, no, not not quite. Like you have to sort of save them. Uh, oh, you okay. could do that one. Yeah. Bubble, 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 that was a trick. And you scored more that way. And that is the whole game, and then they get faster, right? Yep. As we proved. So it's okay. It's a game. It's a Function. game, I guess. It works. It's not that much fun. But it does get hard enough that you can't just do that forever. I don't know, if you can't do that forever, then you're probably not getting the slots because the colours are really there. Exactly. I leveled up. I got a random extra lightning. Deba 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 deba. I think we're done with this. Yeah, I think we are. That's enough of that. Exploding into more pack gaming. <laughs> the original of pack games and arguably best. Was it the original or did Kinesis predate it or mm. Kinesis has the look of a predate. Because it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but because it's not Rob style. Well, yeah. there is that to it as well. Yeah. You know, it's a good these, solid rainbow colour text. Look, look, look at these. I made this menu actually, I think. I think. Are you sure? Yeah, because I don't think you had this ID to load each other. Uh, I'm did. pretty sure oh. I made this, yeah. I thought I made this for the re web release. Oh well, maybe you did, yeah. Go to the help page. Because, you know, I, I remember sort of making this... Well, you made the... This jiggly yellow. You made yeah. the wibbly version for pac I think. I think there was a thing where, at the time, uh, high detail, low detail, because I needed... On some machines, you could, I couldn't do these trails. Right. Yeah. So low detail would have basically turned them off. Go to the help screen. It, but on low detail, it's like there's no background image either. Pointless loading screen, by the way. Yeah. It's not loading. No. You can drop this. 
A hovercraft with which you are to hold off the attacking pack forces, but looks no prettier than a lead pipe with a few arrow things on it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's all you've got, so they can make it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got an error in it. Yeah. <laughs> Using the mouse. On a basic level. It's literally on a level as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is more, slightly more to it than just sliding it left and right to bounce the scum suckers skywards. It's true. We but on a basic up. level, <laughs> bouncing packs up gives you points. How much you so, score yeah. depends on the multiplier, the cumulative, and the pack's age. Don't, don't tell you what the cumulative is, just is, the cumulative. No. <laughs> the multiplier is easy, easy to understand. understand. It multiplies the score gained per bounce and equals the number of packs in play. Yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, not packs. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, um, I think maybe we had balls before we packed them, but I don't know. I, <laughs> the cumulative value increases every time a pack is bounced. Drop one and it will fall a fair bit. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat. It is a little bit random though, isn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. like yeah. there is a fixed value by how much it falls, but because that is triggered multiple times, it's like you can actually drop by like all of it most of the time. Finally, the age of a pack is how many times it has been bounced. The age of a pack can be seen by the length of its trail in Heidi Dovo. Right, it's not like light blue. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> there's a thing about that. The packs while touching will uh, breed into more. The colours which um, emerge <laughs> are to a set breeding pattern. Hard to work it out. Time is against you as well. As well. As well. <laughs> 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 this will increase on every bounce of the bonus from the government. Who thinks you're doing a good job? Surprisingly. <laughs> The orange and red packs have a tendency to bounce low. Be wary. The purple light blue packs bounce real high like. <laughs> <laughs> but also impress government <laughs> officials more. What <laughs> well, time? Impress government officials. <laughs> the purple packs don't like being with other purple packs. And one inevitably becomes annoyed and displays an endless trail. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bug? That's, yeah. Yep. Yep. Don't it's forget a, to explain the bug more. <laughs> yep. Power-ups occur after some breeds. Yep. Yep, these are the power-ups. Ghost gives you a ship trail which can bounce the packs, but score or time is not given off the ghosts, and it can be a bit on the dodgy side. Just <laughs> 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 Now let's give them a moment of respite. Breed spawns in three or more packs from the sky, separate from the random lightning spawns. Luna creates a field of lunar gravity. Speed does the opposite. Very like, fast packs cannot be bounced because of the they bug. pass through <laughs> the bit. Yeah, because they don't frame into the into the collision into the bar, detection. Yeah. So we can't. You know it. what we really should have done? So this should have been like a big vertical block, right? So the bar at the top is the actual. Yeah. But then, but then, but then, if you missed and it would go under you, then you'd yeah. still hit the collision block. Can't, yeah. Really. Can't, can't. Well, unless you made a triangle, maybe. Maybe the triangle would make it better. One last thing: when time expires, you do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. There is no next. There is only back. Let's play this. Spinners. Oh yeah. We ran spinners. Yeah. Oh, this is the old insta spawn. It's a power. Oh, <laughs> it slows everything down. The non power. Up. Yeah. The least fun. Not that the fun power-ups are in this. No. no For, means... Spoiler alert, there's a sequel to this. <laughs> yeah. Doink, doink. So it was possible doink, to play doink. well enough to get this in a situation where you didn't really lose for a long time, right? Yeah, you could you could make it so that if you had enough packs in play, that the time didn't really go down, it sort of went up. Yeah. But like this. You just sort of go on forever. No, oh, 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 oh. But it's oh. actually quite hard. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Speed is the worst. Uh, it's half the power ups are bad. Yeah. More than half the power ups are bad. You really only want the breeds. No, no, I'm down to greens. I'm in trouble <laughs> yeah. now. Just singular green. A bit of cheese. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit, bit of trail cheese. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to do the, the spin tactic where if you like. Flip hit, if you hit it at angle, uh, uh, yeah, whilst in motion. It... No, another green. I think you may have lost this one. Yep. Yep. Come on, get over there. Nice try for a save. 
I think we did make the timer a bit harsher on this eventually. To make it so, you know, always yeah. sort of... Riz, riz, Deathable. Yeah. Oh. 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 I went for the... That might no. be good though. No, oh. oh, the red. No, oh, I'm one passed through me. No. Yeah, it was good. It's still the end. Oh, they not <laughs> The low bounces uh, are helping. Yeah, and there is a sort of balancing act going on with the timer. And that when there's... That it doesn't explain to you that when there's fewer packs on screen, you do actually gain a little bit more time. <laughs> per bounce. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. <laughs> that music frequency change. <laughs> that resized explosion. <laughs> yep, that giant pixel explosion. What? <laughs> 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 the bar <laughs> With a little back at the Yeah, I don't know where that came from. So, the music in there was specially composed for this game, right? Uh, yes. I believe so. It wasn't just a reuse thing. Like, no, I, I, had, I had that. That, that, that synth is basically a, a few bouncy samples that I found and I thought, ooh, it's a bouncy sample. I make a bouncy music track for a bouncy, for a bouncy game. game. I wonder why I'm typing my name in the <laughs> inventory. <laughs> 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 oh, I so the, this game, I guess the name was kind of inspired by a game that we found on the VK, right? Yeah, yeah, called Meta Bounce. Which had not that similar mechanics. No, it had mm, kind of, it, it was sort of gravity based, but yeah, it was a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I thought we could do something different than like have have, yeah. have things hit eat other things to yeah. make things happen, rather than just bouncing. I mean, no, yeah. just for demonstration, low detail low might detail actually rate. be easier to play because there's no background. But there's also no trails, and trails are the best bit. They do make it easier to see what's about. It just makes everything falls at the same bloody speed. See you refrain from any gradients in, in this in, in the game itself, apart from the bar. The bar, yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Mega freeze! Oh, and then speed just killed them all. Oh. 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 <laughs> does it not have the indicators to show where they are off screen? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's but it, it, can, it can only manage it when there are only, uh, only there's only one indicator object per the color. Color? Yeah. Oh right. So as soon as there's more than one, you're basically. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like the orange ones went off screen and it couldn't track it properly. No. Oh. Is that something fixed in the sequel? No. No. <laughs> Didn't really have a great deal of choice about it, I don't think. No. I suppose you could have tried tying the flag variables, maybe. You know, I'll. I'll I got one ball. It's a very unhelpful one. <laughs> yeah, it's really high Dunk. bouncing, it's great. <laughs> Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> Oh dear. I think we might die. I'm not impressing any government officials. <laughs> oh, here comes some. It's a light blue. It's some impressiveness. Government No, we've spent it the wrong way. <laughs> now, when we put this online, we had a small community of people chipping it and getting the best. Yeah, there they was. Could. There, there was. Because it wasn't that difficult to do. No. Uh, yeah, there was. There was... Even accidentally. Oh, they're not breeding. No, not, they're, not, they're, they're not a breeding pair. I don't know if we got rid of that in the sequel, like whether there are non-breeding pairs in that still. The problem with this all black with the black border is I can't actually see where the edge of the edge play is. field is. <laughs> that is a slight flaw. <laughs> <laughs> Should have made it like a graphite grey or something. A breed! With the two best peacock noises in the business. Oh, look at that. What a jip. Right on. What a jip. It's in my, in my bar. Yeah. Your bridge jip from Pro Pro. Metabreed. The fun little game. <laughs> low detail! <laughs> yeah, and there's a separate scoreboard for low detail mode for some reason. Well. 
Pants. <laughs> Appropriately capitalised for that <laughs> carbon <Yeah>. capitalisation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a font missing. Yeah, there's But right, that, yeah. that was probably the same, like, in upper and lower case, right? Oh, right. Probably, yeah. Is it like a form of copper plate gothic I used here or something? Or... Something like yeah, that. yeah, I think it was. The same, well, you know, like actually, the text yeah, the like these texts. But, you know. Yeah, they're all. Or maybe I made these graphics, I don't know. Anyway, let her breathe. Does the quick button work? I think it oh. does. Oh, we get some credits. Here we get, we get some. We get to read some more Rob text yep. describing <laughs> Rob text. <laughs> this is mostly my work. I did the program. Uh, Fairly high amount of graphics. <laughs> I reckon all of it is. And the music, as always. Mm -hmm. Dr. Nick Train. Some oh, good ideas, such as the background, the death sequence, and spinning the packs. Try it. <laughs> Ruben, Ruben. Stormcrow Cox, as he was sort of not known as. Spoon How we come up with the original concept. Thanks for that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have to keep going. The creator of Metabounce. The great game of Metabounce Bounce was inspired by. Check it on the VK. Well, we don't have the name for that person. So nope. <laughs> it's just him. It's a credit. Credit that guy. And Philip Williams for the ever useful direction calculator. And uh, Izzy's off for the DMC2 extension playing with Junes. And click. No click. thanks to Zag at all. No, no. no I did help with this one. <laughs> I'm sure it's not just me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just me. No, we plan to do this the whole gonna thing. Be... Obviously, this I is don't. a special Dan version. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be just me. <laughs> okay, that's tough. <laughs> In a weird way, it's quite a good screensaver. Apart from it, like. Anyway. There's <laughs> more of that. <laughs> Nice flying kick. They're not like tuned to the actual pose. It's just the same path every time. Yeah. Wee. 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 Well, that's dumb. Hmm. Sure is. Coming up next. Get ready. We're in the peas. So it's a pack game. But what? It's a game by me! I made that, it should be a joke. What? Click the name engine box so I can type it there. It's Pac Lord. It's Pac Lord. With its own little theme tune. Yes, this is the menu music created by Rob. Yeah. Just by crapping stuff together from other tracks. Right, click on that as well. Okay. Great. And begin. Pew pew. Loading. Fake loading falls. Yep. Okay. All right. So, where are we? This is my this is my incredible puzzle game. And check out this video. I mean, come on, I put long work into this. The patch follow you. Sort of. Go. Sort of. So yeah, uh, it's a puzzle game, kinda. <laughs> and I made a, I made quite a lot of levels for it in the end. And it has different mechanics in the different worlds. So start from the top. A one. So, Zach made this because I hated the tree puzzle in black and white, so yep, I decided to make a whole game much. out of it. I was so like, that... fuck this shit, I'm going to make a game about it. Sort of, so how does it actually work? So, How does it actually work? Yeah, how does it work? Uh, you change the colours of all the adjacent blocks to you. Oh, I've screwed it up already. And the one you're on. Yes, and uh, you have to try and... No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm already bad at my own game. Yep. What's that? So you need... Wait, what's the required state? Required means you have to get those colours before you finish. Do you have to get at least one yellow and one blue? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so how are you blowing them up? Like you're on a square of the same colour? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, that kills the blues. I'm nearly done. In the first level, did I get enough points? I did. Good. I hope so for the first goddamn level. Okay, you get all the points. <laughs> Perfect finish. Yep, you want to end up on one block, and then this happens. You, you have, have to wait, wait for the for, timer. Wait for the warp to kick in. <laughs> because the trouble is, because if you moved on that, you would die. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, because you could. Cause there's no limit. You could just, just wander <laughs> off and yes, fall you back can just fall to your death on every level. What's the pack story behind this? Uh, the packs have been launched into space in Pack Rocket, which will be coming to you at some point. And, this, and then you discover that the packs were devils, so you have to free them in space. Because apparently that's where packs come from. Oh yeah, they're actually, that's the twist, they're the good guys, yeah. or something. 
Okay. <laughs> Just like that. So do we want A2 or B1? No, let's go down... Uh, okay, let me have a look at those level nails. I think you want to go down the columns, so probably A2. But this will be the same mechanically, won't it? But it's all the same mechanically, isn't it? <laughs> there no, some, of the levels, some of the levels have tricks, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So you need three reds this time. <laughs> so as you can see, if I... Oh, it does count down the actual what you need. Oh, okay. handy. If I park on a singular block, it says auto wall because you can just leave the level at any time, essentially. But the only reason that's like that is because I realised that you can trap yourself on two blocks. Wait, what? Well, because you can only change the blocks. Oh, right. And, on and, on and under you, it's possible to end up on two blocks. Yeah. And then you'll be stuck. So I was like, well, I just, I just have to make it so you walk out if you're on... On an edge. Yeah. On a one L, you know, ending block. What else do I need? Green and yellow. Okay. No, can't do that. <laughs> Make sure you don't cut yourself off, that's the trick. That's the trick, yeah. No. And that's also why the auto walk time takes ages, so you can yeah. actually change the end vlogs. <laughs> I'm assuming the auto walk timer actually sort of resets depending on if you if you move or make a change. Sure. The, yeah. <laughs> Can't use those peacock, peacock noises because that's, that's the sound that packs. That's mate. the sound of pack. According to Beth Reed. Yeah, we stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> we made a theme. We stuck with it. Okay. Oh. See, this is, the, this is where Dan hates the tree level. Are you having to change? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stuff do you get, do you get more do like combo scores based if you manage to get more in a single explosion? I think so. Although, yeah. if you actually look at the score thing, then maybe we can find out. Oh, I see it. Oh, well. Oh, well. you still got everything required. <coughs> so, here be, 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 be. Literal timer. <laughs> Complete gone. Okay, now let's go across ways. Okay, get some different crossways. mechanics. Yeah, so do the columns give you different mechanics? I think they should. So if we go B1. B1. Well, I didn't actually... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you what your your record is. I thought it would. No, it tells you the... The, the requirements. The requirements. Yeah. All right, so B1 looks like a fish. Oh, yeah, this has the fireballs. All right, so what do the fireballs do? But the fireballs, unsurprisingly, when you explode them, it creates fireballs and destroys everything in life. Okay. And you don't need any kind of colour requirement for that. No. Have to explode on it. Anyone out okay. there? <laughs> uh, More like a cat, that one. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Sweet. I think that's like. Peacock do sound like that, though. <laughs> but they don't sound like that. Well, can I actually get all of these? That's the question. If I'm smart about it, probably. No, I don't know. I don't mm. think I can. You just have to land on two that are different colours. Oh, no, wait. That's, that's, that's it. Works. That's it. Get rid of that. Okay, so that's the fireballs. <laughs> Let's see what the mechanic of World 3 is. It's like, of course, you can just fly away instead of falling off. Because that's how gravity works. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one has time limits. So that's what's new in oh, no. World 3. What else? Block 4? Yeah, no, in, I think in World 3 it's time limited, but you have to destroy a certain number of blocks, I think. Mm. Should we just go across? 20 bucks yeah. and 75 seconds. Do it. See what? Yes. Shit. Time to blogs. I would hate this. I really hate this. <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool, but I can't do it. <laughs> no, I think it's only 100 points a block. I don't think there's a combo score. Oh, no, wait, you've got 950 for that one. <laughs> there is a combo score. Surely. Let's take out a big lump at once if I can. Not like that. Oh, no. Yeah, that would be. Ah, and that was like 450 points for five blocks? <laughs> I seen less. <laughs> oh no, wait, no, 650 points for five blocks. So maybe you gained 150? <laughs> Who knows what my mechanics are? My primary. Did I get enough blocks yet? Oh, I need one more. 
I mean, just leave. Just leave. Okay. <laughs> don't even have to clear those levels. Okay. okay, D1. I think this must be teleporters, judging by the fact that. Oh, oh yeah. God. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Man. Look at them, flicker. Do what flicker? Oh. <laughs> the teleport. Flicker real bad. Uh, I don't think I can actually kill that. I can, because the teleport is going to be Oh, and you can choose. Uh, I've forgotten how you do it, though. Oh. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, you let it there instead. <laughs> I'm not sure what a button is <laughs> pushing to actually change that, but okay. How do I actually get this to change? Oh. Oh. It works eventually. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what the control for that is. It's just like I'm just pushing buttons. It's like sometimes it'll change. That end of teleport noise might be the most appropriate sound in a video game ever. Because it looks like that sound. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ted. I'm trying. Oh, oh, got it. Wait, oh, wait. No. I found out what the button is. It's just not very responsive. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, there's no time limit. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to combine those mechanics. <laughs> and dead. And done. On these levels, though, couldn't you just get to an end piece and all a warp out and it say you're done? Yeah. But you still need to get the score in it. <laughs> oh, there was a score in it, okay. Okay. Okay, yep, that's totally Ten quarters. Now, Two more. Now E. What's this one? This one's the. Oh, the <laughs> uh, thing. This is where everything's getting complicated. Oh, God. Um. Geez, I don't even know. I... Well, that's right, isn't it? You fire one from there. And then you click out of the way. Because yeah. <laughs> it comes back. Oh, does it? Do well, that's what the, the bottom one. Reflect. Oh, the bottom one, right, yeah. <laughs> Same as uh, bombs are a little hard to see. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Small <laughs> black dots. <laughs> In space. That's, that's my <laughs> graphical skills. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think I can actually. Yeah, you can't launch when you're on top of the reflectors. Because that would mess everything up. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. Incomplete. Oh, no. Not enough points. Oh, no. Needed that last block. Needed to fill clear that one. That's fine. Go to F. F. Final challenge. Got it's time seconds. and seven blocks. Oh, it's oh. got a lightning it's thing. like a fissure. I don't even remember what that does. <laughs> Let's find out. Blow it up. Wait, what? It makes a wibbly noise if you park on it. Wait, haven't you parked on it for too long? Probably nothing good, I'm oh, gonna say. Park on it. Let's see. No, it's like your time away. Ah. It's a time <laughs> fish. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, tomorrow's gang! <laughs> <laughs> what? So, yeah. so go back to that again. <laughs> what? So, what is tomorrow's gang? Say? We'll get to that in a second. Go back to that again so I can actually fire the, fire the <laughs> Despite being possibly the single greatest effect in any of our games. But <laughs> it's amazing. Temporal skank! <laughs> so I had a handed temporal skank, I remember that. Yes, yeah, so that's what it does. When you fire it onto it, it multiplies the right. projectile. So in theory, you can get all of those blocks in one. In one yeah. So I've kind of bolted this up. So never mind. But yeah, so uh, that! You'll notice how that happened when I had uh, even broken that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice how that happened, how, how I wasn't on the block that time and it still happened. Yeah. That's because temporal skank is a really terrible game breaking bug. That we couldn't solve, and it's like it's there's no reason for it to happen. Like we li literally looked through the code forever, and we couldn't yeah, find we couldn't any find reason it. for it to actually work like that. Yeah. So we were just like, "Fuck it." Then the dad was suggested that what you do is you just detect whether it's happened, which for some reason you can do, even though you, <laughs> you, you don't know how it, it happens, but you can detect that it that has happened. And then you just end the level. <laughs> <laughs> that was my suggestion. It's like so we can't but, fix the bug. But what is the bug? What is the underlying? It basically stops you from shooting. Right. For some reason. So you press the button and you detect that nothing has come out. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, the, that's why the game ends at F, I guess. Because yeah. that game, that game breaking bug nearly completely scuffed that entire thing. 
but then just when you weren't able to complete that level twice, <laughs> you can't because it, it. it happens. It's fine. What's but you just have to keep playing it until it doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. You have to is it something to do with the fissures then, or can it happen on any of them? No, it it's just... only those ones. Huh. And, like, we literally have no idea how that works at all. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So make the best effect ever to yeah. compensate. <laughs> I love, I love, I love us. That's our, that's our trademark. Yeah, that's... Turn bugs into irritation. <laughs> yeah, turn, turn bugs into sort of features. <laughs> yeah, sort of features. I'd be like, where the bloody hell do they put this in? <laughs> it's like, well... We had no choice. So yeah, that's my singular game that got completed. Yes. I made plenty parts of games and helped with other games. It kind of makes sense the way you've gone in general that your your that game will be a puzzle game. game. <laughs> game. Yeah. Too long work. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Jump. Next. Blast. What? <laughs> Blast. So this is... Again, making use of asset animations, like from Game Factory Library. Yep. That was actually the one sort of good thing you could do with that buggy, was make it sort of crash. Yep. Had a good crash animation. Had a good crash animation. That's time for some Pack Rocket! Do you want to play some Pack Rocket, Dan? Yeah, sure. So this is Pack Rocket. Uh, the reason it's got a different intro is because it's a weird screenplay <laughs> show, as you can see. Um, this is my puzzle game for people who hate puzzle games because it's not really a puzzle game. It's more like a shit, not Tetris thing. So you click on the packs and move them, right? So you swap them. And then you sort of build up a block of the same colour. And then you right click to free them, okay? But the way it worked, as you can see, it was a bit <laughs> fucked. So like I was, we were explaining before, it's all based on like collision detection and stuff, just like with Atom because there's no way to like maintain a state. Oh, and you have to stop them hitting the bottom, so I'm about to probably die. Um, uh, so, and, and even when they were all touching each other, they were supposed to all destroy, but they don't, as you can see. So you sort of have to keep them even closer together. So you can't really string out a long line. line. It squares. It doesn't really work. So kind of density, there's an element of random in there, which actually makes a difference to the scoring and... The random was never intentional though. Really. It's not, it wasn't intentional, oh, but... Got a gap. So, got a gap. so you get gaps in there. And sometimes they overlap each other, so you click the teleport and you'll get a different colour than the one you click. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> there's the other one. myriad bugs. So the way it works with the falling is they actually fire invisible particles at each other that inform them of what's happened below them. Mm. See what I mean? Uh, which doesn't work, <laughs> as you can see. So this probably won't work. See that whole layer there. It only ever fell by one because yeah. they only, only received one invisible particle. Exactly. Yeah, they missed a, They missed one or two arrived together or something. Wrong happened. It just didn't detect. And as we mentioned in Pack Lock, this is the <laughs> this is the, the, the Pack series of games comes slightly before Pack Pack Lock. This is where the government yeah. is launching the packs into space after Meta Read. Right, so we've captured them <laughs> on in the auspices of the government. Oh, the ones that we didn't bounce into space. We were trying to uh, the impress the government, government authorities, officials. the officials. We, and we didn't. <laughs> oh, we didn't. So they, so they just started capturing the ones that fell to the floor so we rather to... than bouncing them back up. But this, and it, thought, it, thought we'd put them in a giant rocket and get rid of them that way. But this is still the point where you've discovered that the packs are friendly because yes. you're trying to free them when they get launched into space. Exactly. But some of them do anyway, so... So pack block. So pack block. <laughs> so, um, and as you can probably sit, tell, this rocket design is somewhat inspired by Tintin. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Although, you know, the checkerboarding is very flat considering the block is meant to be round. Oh, the two greens didn't go. Yeah, it's all going a bit wrong. So it's sometimes worth letting them build up a bit, you know, to, to get to get the score and stuff yeah. for combos. So you can spend time warping things around. Is there a button to speed it up? trade it in. I think so. I think this is it. Yeah. I, I thought we had like a speed speed drop, like meteors or something. No, I don't think it has any kind of Tetris style hold to it. Um, yeah. 30 seconds <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> we haven't even played one game. But yeah. It, yeah weirdly, we did end up fun. playing this quite a bit though. As much yeah. as you're saying you're bored now, we ended up getting a bit competitive from that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could. You, there was some stuff to it. Um, because uh, uh, you can see I'm, I'm kind of clearing as I'm talking, but you can spend a lot of time moving stuff and preparing a huge, a huge combo bundle. Oh. And, it's oh. and here at the end, I can sort of free whatever you can. Yeah. Oh no! One second. Uh, but some of them, some of them have still got packed. 
They're the ones we have to save in packs. Full of locks. Well, presumably the packs of four have to then somehow be combined in the air. And Did I beat Rob? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Quite a lot <long> Considerably. <laughs> um, wing, 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 Rob wing, from who knows when. <laughs> yeah, God knows. <laughs> Uh, that's pack rocket. Yeah, yeah, it's pack rocket. The rocket is packed with packs. Yeah, it's pack to pack. Here we go. Here we go. There's another one. <laughs> We're dropping another banger. <laughs> another banger. <laughs> All cartoons. The glaciers are going. So you know, there's about to be eye fuckery. Eye fuckery is coming. Yep. But this was such a classy. This, for me, Classic there's an element of style to this. <laughs> this is a stylish one. Hey guys, I just want to say, we made a lot of games. We, we made a lot of games. Apparently. How? How? How did this happen? Why did anyone not stop us? We didn't have anything to do, apparently. Growing up in Needle Market. All right, so, you got so there's, a, there's a menu that basically doesn't want to tell you the name of the game. <laughs> and um, other than through the vocal sound it made, back like, boom! Occasionally you see it when the lightning strikes. <laughs> the lightning pulses. But then, yeah, had, this was its menu. I don't know why, why you put why the chevrons are there, really. But I think, <laughs> yeah. I think they're to, so, to, to sort <laughs> of indicate press left and right to, to spin your options. What we got options? We well, can go to the options menu. And you can select uh, like my music oh, yeah, you know, into the game, or it had an MP3 of... mode where you could put files labeled one to five that and it would play what you wanted, and it would play that randomly. Yeah, more advanced tech. In yeah, the, the later days. And that was it. That's the options. Yeah. Um, how do I actually get out of this? I don't know. Um, I don't know how I get out of the option. <laughs> Seriously. Oh good. Oh wait. Oh MP3 edit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this basically is going to take me through a menu to tell me what to do. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. This is easy. This is easy. This game can use MPVs. Form its music. <laughs> <laughs> Form <laughs> it is music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? What you do is collect six files you wish to use. Folks, these are the same directions as Fake Room. As in the same place as the red vials. We named them. To be one, one to six. To six, that great. One to five are used in game. Six is in the high score screen. Ah. ah. And then go back to the options and set the music type to MP3. You can test if this works by playing a game, looking at the scores, or coming back to this screen. <laughs> so you're you're accessing the game in any way. Yeah. Well, that will get you back. That'll get me back to uh, the options at least. There we go. Okay, pack me. Um. Do this thing. Yeah. So I have to actually try and remember how I played this myself, to be honest. Right. Not, a, lo not a loading loading screen. Okay, there was a lot of peacock noises at the start that probably shouldn't have actually occurred. Uh, ooh, 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 okay. You right. have to keep the mouse in the window. Yeah. Again, problems with... Okay, so this is sort of inspired by a game I had on the Amiga called Vital Light. Um, and its core premise was like changing stuff to be of a certain colour. And if it was all the same colour, you could explode it. But, but as it was a game made by me, it went a bit nuts. <laughs> so, like we could, uh, so you know, key strategy: make everything the same color and then go flat, flat, flat. You get a variety of numbers that overlap. Yeah, but there was a, there was a sort of Tony Hawk score mechanic to it, and that if you used the same color over and over again, it actually got less valuable. So you had to sw yeah. swap colors uh, like between so as, many, as many right clicks as possible. Basically, it got less valuable each right click. Um, so you kind of mentally keeping track of what. <laughs> And of course, once you get past a certain number of combo, it just becomes large. It's just a <laughs> large, it's a large combo. Oh god! And you and you lost a little bit of score every time you left clicked, but not enough really to make it. It's not a worry about. <laughs> but of course, I added like proper timers to make it so like you, you know when that little clip of music played, the uh, the, the actual background music stopped and. Yeah, that's pretty funky. Having it um, dip or whatever it's called. Duck, I guess. Duck, yeah. And of course, you get treated to a multitude of pack noises as they <laughs> yeah. fall off the bottom of the screen. As you can tell, the scrolling was never meant to be this weird sort of shuffle. <laughs> but it just turned out that way. Yeah. The, the timing was all a bit wrong. Yep. And with. And oh, there is, and we, to see it. There is, there is a very cool bug that can happen. 
but uh, it basically just caused all the blocks to start moving. <laughs> Shifting slightly to the right. Yeah, they, they move diagonally and sort of start drifting across the screen while still doing their little down the screen shuffle as well. It was another bug where it's like, we just couldn't work out how the fuck it was even happening. No, because there's, there's supposed there isn't there isn't any movement aside. Oh, look, one is hiding. Yeah, so that sideways shift bug was... It, it's great because it, we, well, we never really it, this, we didn't really explain it, but we just sort of left it in because it's not game breaking. <laughs> but it's just like it's the shift. It's very rare compared to our other bugs. Yeah, I haven't seen it for a very long time. I don't think we'll get it to happen. And then canonically, <laughs> for this game in the back. Oh yeah, what's the story? I'm pretty sure this is also post pack rocket in the same post pack block, isn't it? Like some of the. I Some of the destroyed boxes are falling back and we have to stop them from hitting this death laser by freeing them before they reach the death laser yeah. and then they can pass through the death laser. <laughs> Such great writing. <laughs> that sound effect in the background is possibly my favourite thing about this game. <laughs> like, just like the level up sound goes dong. Oh, oh. <laughs> For some reason. I don't even know where that came from. Arr, arr. There's going to be quite a few of these now. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't care about the combos, you can just... Uh... God, he's actually getting quite fast now. Oh dear. <laughs> Does overlap those combos sound mixed? It's fine. Of course, if you can get in between the blocks, you can... Yeah, you can get them in one, That's yeah. That's how you get the big combos and how you get the big disruptions. And not lose too many points in two. Yeah, that's the that's really the core pro skill of it. Shooting in between. And the red blocks that they actually make it up. Another mystery bug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there might be a point where there's just so many blocks on screen that actually it just it might kick in a sort of fail safe. Oh we have a do it well enough. Yeah, yeah. Just the reds. <laughs> Let's make some more reds. See what happens. Oh no, oh, no. sound bug. Okay. Well, we'll never see the end of this. Oh, that was a good run. What actually happens? Well, let's, let's restart it just so I can die. Okay. It's gonna take quite a while. <laughs> 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 wow. Right, let's see what happens if I can kill myself but uh, before the game can kill me for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I should have added a level skip to this as well, really. Wait, is the laser like well higher up the screen this time for no reason? No, oh, I think it always was pretty high. I could have thought it was lower. Or maybe it lowers, maybe it lowers when you level up, I can't remember. Oh right, like yeah, a bonus. Yeah. Because that was that was the thing. This red line isn't the death laser line. Okay. The packs have to hit this line. Oh, oh I leveled up without doing anything. You got what's the red line points for, then? No, The red line is like because when you <laughs> when the packs hit the laser, the, the laser hit, moves upwards. Yeah, it gets it makes it, it, it sort of punishes you by 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 moving up the screen slightly. Oh yeah, I leveled again. So, oh no, something happened. I'm mean, still only level two, but it moved, looked like it moved down again. So yeah, it's like actually sort of when it gets real bad and you've got like hundreds of packs dropping on it, it just like goes <laughs> and you're right. like dead. Well, it's because it moves up and eats ones that were above it. Essentially. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it like chains. Okay. Use that lightning effect a bit more. <laughs> yes, use that lightning graphic. Well, it was in keeping with the theme. Yep. Rob's pattern games all look quite similar, in fact. Indeed. I mean, you know, I had one creative spark at this point in my life, and it was pack related, <laughs> and lightning, and gradient. <laughs> <laughs> and then warp effects. Did you use the gra the block graphics from Pack Rocket or the other way around? I'm pretty sure Pack Rocket definitely came first. Yeah. Like, I, I built yeah. this later. Well, Pack Block, I used graphics yeah. that Rob had made but never used. Right. Oh, yeah. He made and, a... and, then, and then we reused them at some point yes. in, in, in Meta Brew 2. He made a square and then I put the packs on it, basically. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your rig falls apart. <laughs> I got that one, obviously. Yes. I still got some points. <laughs> so leveling up, I guess. <laughs> I didn't get any larges. 
<laughs> it's just like type font stuff. Largers! In actually, a, <laughs> in actually a smaller font. Click. Oh, and that score looks like it's from <laughs> Metabreed. It does, sort of, but I guess that's on theme. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy facts. Wow, you got 6 8. Oh, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> no points. You have a new high score. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So we made that with shit talker version 1.2 by, by Jandis. Jandis. <laughs> yeah, that's where the robot voice came from. And it was set to random intonation. Oh uh, no, the, it, had, it actually had a song mode, song and you put it, and it would sing it. every. It would sort of yeah, but it, the notes it picked were kind of random. And now the ever important test of this game does, does it have a quick button, and does it work? Oh, hey, hey, it works. I think all these were fixed though for work for release. Yeah, by me. Yeah, by you. All right, what's what's this? It's what's called this? It's, it's called Peg. This, this is something that I made again, not and, technically and again. And the time's going. Yeah, start it over. I want to see if I can actually do this. Okay, here we go. So this was me make, trying Turn, to make two hundred meter sprint, a different control scheme. I'm trying to make a weird control scheme for running, where basically it's using the the old rotation mechanism where the <laughs> thing rotates towards the mouse cursor. So the idea is you have to move in like an an actual like tempo to because if you go too fast then basically it, turns back towards you and you lose and your lose a bit of speed, speed. Yeah. so you have to try and keep the momentum going to run this dude with his dramatic semi-transparent trail <laughs> <laughs> nice so yeah that was a little mini tech demo that I made <laughs> again this is what I did mainly in games Factory. I made small things that were just demonstrating a singular idea and never became an actual game in any way there we go is that inspired by like a Mario Party one? I have. I, well, maybe. Oh, I sincerely hope it's not based on the the palm shredder. <laughs> Could be. Right, that's that. Yeah, that, yeah, is, that. that is that. Ah, oh, some more coals and gins coming <laughs> together to form a baby eye. Yep. Hi, oh, it's me again. So this is <laughs> how the good are you at clicking on things? The game. Um, it's a shooting gallery. Wait. So, to right, top, recommend a game. So, top left is the standard. Let's Shoot things, and you get a cursor. That makes sense, right? It's not easy. <laughs> Beware. Yeah. I actually got really, really good at this, oh. and then the other day I had my new pro gaming mouse, and I tried this, and I was total crap. <laughs> pro gaming mouse. Whatever. I, you, you know what I mean. A fancy Logitech wireless ridiculous high DPI thing and yet I couldn't hit these for crap what do the bars mean? it's like accuracy and oh, right. targets yeah. oh no it's broken it managed to break with the brrrr sound let's try that again yeah, I'm, just, I'm just playing what is it TP pushes yeah. that's the sound they always make when you put coins in right it's like brrrr what's this game? okay so this one stationary targets oh yeah stationary targets yeah so click on things as they appear. Whack a mole. Okay. Okay, that's whack a mole. Is the idea for me to try and beat the purple line? Uh, I think so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know. The yeah, absolutely no UI. Oh, it's got to be hard. I think. Yeah, I think. Oh. Yeah. Time left on clock. Oh, yeah. Yes. No time left on no. Didn't make it. Okay, Three so short. now the dumbest one, bottom left, it's the same as top left, but no cursor. So, what? But when you shoot, you can see an explosion. Yeah. I got one. You can just continually <laughs> shoot, yeah. But it depends on what awesome oh, right, so you, you want to be. You don't lose points for that? I don't think. Well, accuracy you lose, right? Yeah. But I mean, it's impossible, so. <laughs> oh, I'm out of screen. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Go. And then, same again for stationary targets. Okay, Pistol Fallic. Yep. And that's Pistol Fallic. Give you. I didn't sound broken. Uh, it's, broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming for you. Okay, so next. Next up. Next is... It's a hot collabo. Uh, it? It's not just Dan, it's also me! It's also Zeg! This is one of the earliest, <laughs> yeah. well, of, of like, more pro games. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's it. <laughs> well, this is, yeah, this is one of the first games I remember seeing you guys actually make. Yeah, this is easily one of the earliest. So, yes, Power Putt. It's a putty game <laughs> with very weird controls because we didn't know what the hell we were doing. So. Well, they're not that um, weird. Yeah, not as weird as some of the experiments we did later. And your options were a little limited, weren't you? And to be fair. They were. Thwack. Not putting at all. Okay, so le- we took them level by level, right? So yeah, I think we must have collaborated on this first one, though, yeah. because this creates the concept. So you have to click and drag in this box to set your uh, right. aim, and then you left-click and right-click to set your power, which isn't explained anywhere, as far as I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> and you click the- I think we had to, in the launcher for the disc we made at one point, oh, you, no. you had to, oh, a dodgy bounce. That was bad. So it all relied entirely on the Games Factory's... Bounce uh, collisions, yeah. Which are real bad. Which are terrible. So I'm going to do very badly. So let's see how we go. But yeah, do, uh, yeah we, had to, we had to put instructions in the launcher on the, on the disc we made, didn't we? To say, like, hey, how I actually play this. Indeed. Can I skim along the edge of the walls? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this has invisible... Collision zones. Collision zones. Ah. <laughs> Which in some levels are more or less restrictive. It's like... Some levels you can go quite a long way into the water. Some levels it kills you almost immediately. So then we thought, hmm, we better have some kind of hill, hill mechanic, but it only lasted for one level, I think. I don't think there are any, because it doesn't really work. It's quite a pain the to bring it as well. It was. But you do slow down as you go up that mm. hill. Now, note when I go into this conveyor belt, I don't actually start moving down until I hit, like, something in the middle of the conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's because that was a stupid object or something. Well, it's because well, we didn't put physics on it, right? Yeah. It was just sort of made it go down at a constant speed. Well, it's because it it has to hit something to trigger the downwards. So we yeah. had an invisible object in the middle of the belt, and originally we had it so you just hit the belt. But when it hits the edge of the belt and starts going downwards, it clips onto the edge of the wall and gets stuck. Right. So we had to make the invisible object be in the middle of the belt to prevent you from getting stuck. Hmm. Hmm. That's it. Oh yes. Oh, I'm going to repeat that shot. Boop, 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 boop. And of course, every level had a different random MIDI track from, <laughs> from, from the, the library, files. which are now pretty much ingrained in my head from this game. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Not doing too badly. Yeah, so far. Come on, come on, come on. This is how you get a stream. So, so there had to be someone, I think me, decided that every level had to have some kind of alliterative weird pun or something, yeah. which got sort of stupid after a while. <laughs> Very quickly, in fact. Oh dear. And you see there's no pars or anything for holes or no, any it's kind a total, of... total score, to what that is. Yep. Or a, a lower total score as you can get. So, so you were at least allowing people to... Uh, encouraging people to complete the game by not limiting them. <laughs> oh yes, I'm good. Oh, no. Shall I just do this? Even though that bridge no. doesn't look like it, looks like a slope, it's not. <laughs> it's not a slope, because there are no slopes apart from in that you, one level. Do you remember my isometric experiment? Like I made, a, I tried to make a golf engine with a sort of an isometric look. Maybe. And, and, and we've lost it. I don't know where, like, to, to, to time. It's, it's gone somewhere. But I remember actually getting hills and stuff to sort of actually work mm. in, a, in an isometric view. Uh, now, as soon as I hit this, it will screw up because it's colliding with the thing that's... Yep. <laughs> so that was bad. Uh, also, that This has gates that activate. Oh. Also, the blue thing on the right-hand top side is a bonus power that you can use to get rid of Reduce shots. your score. So considering go... you have to hit, like, three shots to even get there. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, I don't remember how many points it takes off. I don't think it's like, worth it in that case. Like three, probably. But if you're super skilled, mm. down the drain. There's um, another one. In yeah. a dead end. Yeah, you don't want to get you going down there. I can't be. I'm not going to do any extra craziness. I don't think in no. this run. Classic musics. Musax. <laughs> yeah, mm. this was Musax the game base. Now this was quite hard to do. I think this shot because you had to kind of hit this. But if you hit it from this angle, this ramp, it would actually respect your direction and not work. Ugh. Yeah. So you, ugh. Oh, really? <laughs> it actually even boosts you, which is pretty pretty bad. So I guess I need to... I guess like, it was trying to force you to the same thing you didn't fill off the table. Maybe. Oh, now I'm on the table. So you see these are stools, they're meant to be stools. <laughs> yes, top down perspective. Yeah. In case that wasn't clear Given already. the size of the ball... I don't know why the, there's The ball edge. is quite massive. It's because we didn't want the program falling back off. Right. <laughs> right, and then we've gone down the drain. In sink, in fact. 
It's a very small sink or a very, very small <laughs> You garden. come out of a hose. <laughs> Naturally, you come out of a hose after falling down the drain. And onto greenhouse gardens, which this will probably break. Oh, no, not worked. <laughs> that, I think that ramp's pre-programmed, right? To just send you more yeah. or less to the place. Because yeah. that one slows you down. I think so. Oh, dear. I think well, on this well. level, it's... But so, in it, not explained, but if you go into the, um, like, the... The dirt. That dirt bad. kills you like water. Dirt, yeah. Oh. Just like that. Very bad, in fact. Glass kills you. Oh! Uh, put no! The put the glasses gone. Sorry, guys. That sucks. Glass really kills you. Oh, oh fuck's sake. Oh, I'm not concentrating now. That's the trouble. Do it together. Concentrate. It's like real gun. <laughs> yeah, pre-programmed. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of momentum to it, I think. It did look a little different. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm safe. Mm. Now, I do want to get this blue one, because it's, it's right there. It's an easy one, yeah. But the, the hit zone for these garden beds is quite... Oh! Well, at least it didn't put me all the way back. You, you dinged, at least. Yeah. These, oh, for fuck's sake. These Don't flower, hit that glass. These flower beds, are, are you going to hit it? Am I? Yeah. This way? Go, go straight down, you're never going to edge it. Really? Close, yeah. Right. Du, 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 These flower du, du, beds du, du, definitely du, du, du. have the very close to the edge hits. Yeah, they seen. do. Which you wouldn't know. No. Okay, that'll do. Oh, yeah. Right, and that one's a hard one. one. You know. oh, that goes underneath that and that. Oh no, not that, but that's, that's yeah. just the same guy. Oh, oh okay. this one's a free shot that you can get easily enough. Matter it. It gives you five back. No, that's not bad. I don't know if they're all the same. I assume they are. Well, this is a boring level. <laughs> yes, but it's a it's setup. Just, it's just awkward, isn't it? Oh, it's... yeah, it's a setup for the sort of story of now you get. <laughs> yeah, this is the story of how that. Of course. We've already gone down the drain and now we've gone haze. But we're still in a kind of residentially zone. Wait, that won't last. No. Also, <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure this music sounded different on old MIDI cards. Right? Well, well, most MIDI rather, does. Rather than it having that piano <laughs> line, it's like. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know. I think that was there, but I mean, MIDI, MIDI. This sounded different on different computers, didn't it? I mean, even yeah. at the time, due to the MIDI situation. Right. I think you probably just mash it. Yeah, that mash one. it. Yeah, into this truck that goes into this <laughs> tunnel, apparently. It's a car park where, for some reason, you can't go over the white lines of the car park because they are walls, yep. <laughs> yeah. which makes total sense. Um, I'm not going to go for that power up, obviously. Nope. Can I go straight down? No, maybe Colorful not. Colourful car park. It's basically meant let's make it orange. <laughs> not even the car park, though. <laughs> okay. Now for some sliding doors. Ah, uh, yeah. The height of technology. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so jazzy. Full power. Well done. Annoying, Annoying airport. airport. Because the cement mixer truck has to go to the airport. So I guess this plane, <laughs> like, of perspective, is like way down. Like we're in a really tall building. Yeah, that was, that was our excuse. <laughs> okay, so this is the security... Thing, metal detector and scanner, which I was quite mm. proud of that effect. That was probably the best, given that it just changes to black. I thought it looked pretty good. Is there a period of time where instead of they did a um, a ball of an X for something? Yeah, to be the like, X-ray. It's, it's an X-ray, <laughs> therefore it made it an X ball. Oh really? Or something. So I changed that. Yeah, I think we had that at some point. Okay, so you have to get in the blooming plane so that you can put on a plane. Yep. I seem to remember. Which involves <laughs> the, the text has to be inside the airplane because the background is moving. <laughs> so yeah, I mean this was highly dynamic for us at the time. Dynamic. And obviously you have to put out onto the wings through yeah. the windows. <laughs> Naturally, I mean it would be quite boring otherwise, wouldn't it? It's not totally obvious that you can do that either. Uh, no, it's not obvious at all. Right, let's go for the power up. And the hole is green, because it's just a hole through the bottom of the plane. Oh uh, yeah. <gasps> Creative bonus. Oh dear. Uh, oh, that was pretty good. Let's go for one of these. No wind oh, resistance. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no
And then obviously you land at NASA. <laughs> well, you parachute. Yeah. But I don't know why you land at like a weird kind of Cape canaveral type place. With a lying side down rise. on the side rocket. Side <laughs> <rise> rocket. <laughs> okay. Perspective keeps a little bit far down at this point. <laughs> I mean, it starts to get pretty insane. This whole thing. Oh, man. This is such engaging content. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Collision Software Experience. I'm going as fast as I can, guys. Yeah. Uh, it's quite hard. Because of the, <laughs> because of the, because of the collision. What is that? It's the Collision Software. <laughs> oh, it's nice. literally the Collision Software. Collision, so <laughs> collision Software couldn't make Collision Software. Oh, I think that was probably the, oh. where the name came from. Well, maybe. <laughs> or, or were we just kids thinking, that sounds real cool, doesn't it? I think it's not a bad I name. I like Destruction Derby. It's not a bad name. <laughs> but it's just like you need the word software in there, obviously. That's... Software. Software. Oh, oh, oh no! What? what? Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened there. You have to hit it to open the door, the invisible door. Right, and, and now... now that's another thing. Now we're on... Um, unspecified red planet. Yeah. <laughs> on red planet. Where it's so red. Oh, my face. <laughs> this is going to encode real good. Oh, that's why I, I guess since it's only red, it probably won't be that It'll be fine. But, oh, yeah, oh my red. god, it's so red. It's an outside video game, but I'll tell you that. And also, this is where it gets hard, so... Yeah, this is where it gets a lot harder. You've got reverse two player mounts that will fuck you up, you've got this water that will kill you right now. Instantly, the right? Oh, pretty instantly. I'm okay, gonna go I, don't, I don't even think you can edit it. I think you can slightly edge it, but let's not take a risk. I'm going to edge that. Okay. Going straight down. Screw it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Many of half. Pansy putt. Smoothie pansy putts. And then the incredibly thin ending. Yep, line this up real careful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll do. Or will it? That'll do fine, I go full power. Yeah. Oh, and, and it doesn't even make a fall into a hole sound effect, it makes it like an alien sound effect. Strange stones. So, so we have a break. A nice break level. Although, the whole point of this level is because the collision fits which is so far, these <laughs> really shaped stones make you sound so weird. Yeah, exactly. Uh, around? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think you might have made that one. That was good. I think that was a Zarek level. Yeah. Right. Terrestrial <laughs> shoes. Yep. Spelling's back again. So this is our struggle. <laughs> so I think we were aware that the word... I mean, we knew... Oh, it's broken. Is it? Oh, I can't... Oh, no! I can't aim. Oh, no. Restart. There you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that worked. Um, I think I think we were aware that the word and extraterrestrial meant alien, so I think we assumed that Extra terrestrial. terrestrial yeah. So despite the fact that terrestrial means the opposite of alien, now which tube did we choose? <laughs> I'm gonna go for the second from uh, left. Actually, well, I mean, yeah, second from left looks like the obvious. Oh one. no! But no, the tubes are a lie. Straight down. It can't, no, it's it's can't, it can't be down. that one. Okay, it can't be. No, it's the furthest left right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Furthest left. I think you may be right. See, this is why you're supposed to go over the left. top. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you know which tube it is, it's very easy to go that way, but otherwise you've got this much more reliable route to go to the top route. Okay. Okay. Trestrial. Yeah, that's trestrial tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, wormholes. Oh, more, more instant dev. I don't remember which one it is, I think it's. Oh no. It's either the top one or the second from the top one, it's not the first one, obviously. I'm pretty sure this music was one of the tracks that didn't wasn't supposed to have that. <laughs> At least not as prominently. I think you're right. Ah, oh, that was a good shot. I can go straight right. Is it not the first one? I don't think it is. I think it is. I'm gonna gamble. Oh, no, it's absolutely not. Second one? Oh! It's not <laughs> <I really don't laughs> <want>. <laughs> what? 
Not random in case you were wondering. No, it's just set to be in as annoying as possible. No. Oh. Maybe it is random. Okay. Maybe it's random. Oh, that I sucks. don't know about that. I don't think we would have made, been able to make it. Right? Oh, here we are, you've the job. Oh god. So this one has a history, right? Because you made a really, really short level. Yeah. It was uh, literally a job because we were trying yeah. to make levels that fit the feet. Yeah. So <laughs> if I came up with the word John, probably out of the dictionary. Uh, for like a short walk. I was like, we can use this. And Zeg was like, okay, John, that means short. I'll make a short level. And I was like, but it's nearly the end of the game. It has to be hardcore. So obviously I made one that's fucking impossible. So now we've got the ironic jaunt. <laughs> yeah, which is not a jaunt. It's more of a slog. Uh, like, appearing and disappearing water. And <laughs> a whole bunch of wormhole bullshit. Oh, crap. I think we're nearly at the end, though. Can I just balance the levels to be in a different order? <laughs> well, they get harder. I just said, oh yeah, but Jupiter and John could have been like. The no, first, but it had to be an level. alien level, so alien yeah, levels Yeah, that's true, because Strange hard. Stones. Oh, In fact, God. Strange Stones should have been called Jupiter and John. So what do you think? You know, make some other level. Probably near max. Near max? Ah, oh, oh, too early. You gotta wait for it to Go. fully disappear. Wait for the cheese to disappear. Is that cheese water? Right, I, might, I might bounce it off the. I need to line this one up with it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. God damn it. Maybe not enough. <laughs> it's very sticky ball physics. Yeah, there's a lot of like grip. Grip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of friction going on. Wet ground. Return, Return to Earth! You'll notice that the hole is on top of a rocket. Uh, top of a rocket. Is this time perspective is... Oh, yeah, the no. time perspective is... No. <laughs> the rocket's coming. Is, th is this the last level? I... Oh. Maybe. I don't remember there being any more earth holes. Was there? You're an earth hole. Uh... Oh! 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 Sorry, guys. You gotta oh. wait for it. Harsh water. It's because I'm being impatient. <laughs> Looked like there was a little extra pause on that. I know. I, I think they pause slightly. That's the problem with them. What? Yeah. I think the last it? frame stays for two frames or something yeah. just to piss you off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that recently. I think that might be a bug. Yeah, it might be a bug. Okay. And this again, one of these really annoying reverse. Oh, the take you back where you came. Right along the edge that you have to putt on. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, hit the good spot. Ideal. And then diagonal squares. Of course. Just <laughs> Make like... it even more annoying. This is the stage where you just take lots of shots and just. <laughs> oh. oh god. It could put you back at the start as the other thing. <laughs> like, do those. The zinger. Do those blocks put you back at the start? I bet they do. Oh, oh my god, too far. Too much. <laughs> oh no. I don't know about this. I think I'm gonna edge up to it, yeah. Yeah, don't forget that extra frame. Stun frame. <laughs> and of course <laughs> the music loads as well. It's quite a short loop. Lay that one up. Yes. Ooh, what do you think of that? Too much? Okay. Ah! Oh, nice. Just right. In we go. And I think that might be the end. Ting! <laughs> yes! With that amazing perfectly sized hole! <laughs> <laughs> Very golf like. Right well on, again, as it keeps telling you all through the game. I like how in that crowd graphic, it was like... I, I just kept watching for the guys who aren't moving, basically. Yep. Like, that, 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 that sour woman at the back. What a mess. Oh, oh, you're oh, I don't know. Oh, what? Man, I can't believe that you're even doing that. I can't believe, like, what, 186 pats yep. or whatever it was. Producer, Daniel Drake. Oh, yes, Producer. this had a full-on credit sequence. Programmers and Zachary Murder, so the Z is a bit extravagant there. Level design? Oh, oh yeah, and oh, handed the level design wrong. Well, I read that as lewd design. <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember being involved, but I can't remember on what level. I think it might have been Annoying Airport. <laughs> that was a classic. These are very games, actually. Roderick Handenberg. Oh, yeah. In the credits. Shout out to the Rodders. Special thanks to all mums and dads. But yeah. <laughs> Look out, Look out for more! We're going to do some of games, of which we produced quite a few, as you can tell.
the end of Power Park. Wow, and if I click credits, I'll go back there. Yes, it's the same. Yep. <laughs> okay, good. Good! <laughs> it's Power Park. Bye. So Power Park 2. So Power Park 2. It's... Oh, it's got a lion attached yeah. to it. Yeah, so this was our attempt to actually make it... More like an actual yeah. golf game. But we never got very far. It has better physics. Yep, it's got hills. Look, yeah. check it out. That actually worked. And it has the part on screen. <laughs> No, well, but but the ball doesn't slow down as much as it did in Power Park 1. It has, yep. The green physics are a little more real. It's the realist. This is definitely a better platform, or whatever. This could, could have been good, but we never bothered to have the creativity to actually make the levels like the last one. No, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah it's, out them hills. it's quite an extreme hills. hills. Yeah. They're steep. I think they can really speed you up. Yeah, they can literally speed you up, which is maybe maybe slightly. (laughs) Yeah, the kinetic energy doesn't quite like. You don't slow down as fast as you speed up. Just go away. Not just bad. So we got some illustrations here from a certain Wesley Allard, um, who I asked at school to make me some 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 golf, some drawings. that ball is quite scared. So the ball is now terrified from the monster <laughs> erupting from the golf court green, I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah. Not just bad, but truly awful there. That's not bad. <laughs> Botanical ball to par five. Punt it. No. <laughs> oh. Well, oh, that sound. <laughs> I know, <laughs> the mulching. <laughs> the classic mulching noise. Oh, that's a bastard, isn't it? There's a hill straight into the water. Am I supposed to whack it off that, like, dodgy bit? Oh, and sort of, um, the diagonal walls were an innovation, I think, compared yeah. to everything being square. No oh. Oh. This, this had actual hole physics also. Yeah. <laughs> no way. You can't just mash it into the hole. And it said, no way. No way. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, just go away indeed. And so that's that. Permanently on botanical border. All two levels of Fab Hat That's all we made. Wah, 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 you wah, can see the potential wah. there, but I mean, it's just not Power Pop. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe.